Welcome back to the Cali J Kitchen and welcome back to Welcome well <laughs> Welcome to Deer 25. Today we're actually cooking for two days, so we're cooking for today and tomorrow. It's a very quick, simple recipe to do. Uh, we've got one pot chick one pot citrus spice chicken and rice with a crumble of feta and walnut salad. So we've got three cloves of garlic. Two to three chilies, which I'm going to get out now. I'm going to go for two. Or two. Two chilies. A knob of ginger. So we've got some ginger there. Uh, two tablespoons of smoked paprika. One tablespoon of turmeric. We've got some turmeric there. Half a lemon. Half, the juice of half, actually no, half a lemon. Half an orange. Salt and pepper. Two cups of basmati rice, two cups of ch two cups two <laughs> two large chicken breasts, uh, one red onion, and one red pepper, tablespoon of coconut oil, and cheddar, salad leaves, olive oil, and a handful of walnuts. I'm leaving them in the fridge for now until we do the salad later. I'm gonna get some heat onto this pan. See if I drink my coffee. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to fry the onions and peppers, all the spice and everything. I'm just going to put the ginger in like that. Garlic's going in like that also into my new little food processor. And I think what I'm going to do is do a little series, a little series, a little episode, or a live, should we say on marinades and how to prep meat sorry prepping meat so that you can save time in the kitchen so maybe do that on one of the free days or one of the prep days uh, where I'll literally just go through how I prep meat well how I use how I used to prep meat I like to just cook from fresh because I love cooking anyways um, but obviously I, I just want to save you some time in the kitchen Time is money, but I understand that people don't have a lot of time to just be spending like hours in the kitchen. So I'm going to show you some of the tricks of the trade where we'll be reducing some of that cooking time. Got three cloves of garlic on in there. I'm going to start slicing the onion and pepper up. Going for a full red onion in here. Remember, we're cooking for two days. Tomorrow, what we're going to do is just kind of just fry this up and have a fried rice dish. And I believe we've got. Let's have a look. Tomorrow, that's no, free day. Tomorrow, day 20, 27. Yes, so we're doing fried rice tomorrow, not tomorrow, but on our, the day after the free day, uh, fried, we're doing a fried rice version of this, but we're going to make an uh, orange feta and chilli slaw, which is unreal by the way. Orange and feta just goes together. So we're just removing the skin from our red onion. Slice it up however you like. Get some coconut oil in that now as well. Put it with a tablespoon of coconut oil. Or two. Let's see a generous tablespoon of coconut oil. In without onions. Top and tail this pepper. And again, just kind of 
that didn't work to plan exactly to plan but there we go so just open it out and then just run the knife along the inside Top and tail, top and tail. Cut it in half. Again, just slicing it into pieces like that. That can also go in there now. Give these onions a little bit of a helping hand, flash them up a little bit, break them up, and we're just going to continue to fry those off. Now we're going to start on our citrus spice paste, so we're going to go top and tail, and we're using half of this orange. If you just top and tail the orange, and then kind of you could have just peeled one of these off. These uh, navel oranges are very easy to peel, but as you can see I'm just chopping the skin off. Didn't do a very good job of it either. The orange going in. I'm going to do the same with this lemon. Top and tail it. Hopefully, do a little bit of a better job this time. Half of the lemon. I think I'm going to add this orange and lemon to the salad actually. I'm going to experiment, with, I'm not advising you to do this, but I'll let you know how it goes. But I think I'm going to add that to the salad. Or I could keep it for tomorrow for the slaw. I think that's what I might do. I am actually cooking up tomorrow's meal today because I'm trying to get ahead of myself on the app. So let's have a look at this. Mm. And maybe this goes on first. Blitzing that up, now I'm going to add our two heap spoons, two tablespoons, sorry, smoked paprika, going in with one. Tablespoon of 
turmeric. And I'm also going to add some sage into this. Do a little bit of an experiment. We're going in with the tablespoon of sage. Not in the recipe, but if it all goes well, I'll be updating the recipe later and I'll be adding the sage in there. Do that in a mix. Got our marinade there, or our paste. And we're going to add this. And look at that. This is very similar to what we done with the salmon the other week, and that's why I thought, you know what it is? I'm going to try this with the chicken because it just smells and tastes amazing. Gonna fry that paste off a little bit, spread this out the way. Put this in the wash, actually. I'm gonna slice up our chicken now. Two large chicken breasts. And as always, I just like to give these a little bit of a trim. I like to take out this bit, this part here. This is the part where it connects to the bone and it's just like kind of grisly and not very nice to chew on. Slicing our chicken up into chunks like this, so it should go lengthways and then once across. And as you can see, there I'm just kind of breaking them up where the knife hasn't gone through properly. Now we're going to add this to the pan. Gonna fry that chicken off with that lovely marinade. I'm gonna add some more coconut oil in here. I underestimated this on the recipe. Going in with another tablespoon of coconut oil.
But I'll leave the lid on for a few minutes and then. Hold on a second. So we are just cooking this chicken through because what we're going to do is take the chicken out. We're not going to cook it all with the rice. Um, I just don't want it to kind of fall to bits in the rice. I don't want to overcook chicken breast. Chicken breast can't actually be overcooked. And then that'll sort of just fall apart and it won't be very nice. So. Just cooking this chicken breast. And then what we're going to do, remove the chicken. Kind of cover it in foil just to keep it hot. We'll leave, try and leave some of the peppers, the onions, and the marinade in the pan. And we're going to cook our rice in the same pan. Once the rice is cooked, we're going to throw the chicken in and mix it all together. Look at that. Look at that for flavour. Smells absolutely amazing. I really don't know how people live off chicken and rice. Right, we're going to come back again in a few minutes time for part two. So I'm going to get the kettle boiled. Um, we'll be transferring the chicken over into some foil just to keep hot. We'll cook the rice for 12 minutes, then we'll fold all the chicken back into it and we'll serve it along with our salad. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.